but soft, what light through yonder Denmark break? It is the Thebes, and my nukes are the sun. So, we're about to research uh, nuclear bombs. Um, I believe we have completed the Manhattan Project or we're building it, sorry. Um, I believe um, Mose and Connie had made the Manhattan Project, if I am correct. And I'm just checking the range of everything. Can I attack Brazil from here? Can I do whatever, right? Um, Thebes is a very good city. Look how much damage my stealth bomber takes, and it's a double city promoted, right? I can't afford to attack that right now. Um, so instead, I'm basically just going to prep up, let him kill himself a little bit uh, until I'm ready to move in. Look at that, Brazil has finally surpassed somebody, which is the Shoshone. Um, so yeah, Brazil definitely is a threat. They're not not a threat, right? Uh, bringing all my paratroopers down here um, so that way I can start using them soon. They're pretty good troops. I don't know. They're not. They're not bad. They're not good. But at least I can make nukes now. And so all the cities, or most of the cities, are going to do that. Um, I'm probably going to nuke Denmark and move my way into uh, Thebes. I don't think I can really take Thebes down regularly, but I sure can take it down with the power of atomic bombs. Uh, and so now the question is basically, kill his units until I'm ready. Right. Uh, I have really strong, powerful stealth bombers. This is the. This is why Deity is, or sorry, this is why Babylon is great. You can get these incredibly strong units while he still has frigates in the water, and it's just insane. Um, now, he did actually take Heliopolis, but I moved my Mobile Sam out of that because I knew he was going to. Um, and it's super easy to take it back because it has one pop. Unfortunately, I'm going to keep stacking Warmongering bonuses, but I think it's a bit too late for that. Um, it's a bit too late for that to not matter, right? Um, everyone kind of already hates me enough. All right, building arsenals in that city because it's still uh, pretty at threat. And now that it's on one pop, I will create a puppet. If Denmark ever captures it and then uh, resets it, or sorry, raises it down, it's going to be no bueno, but I have a feeling he will not raise it down. Uh, so it's two arsenals being made uh, and two atomic bombs being made, which is pretty useful. I really can't aggress on Thebes, at least not quickly. Uh, I can do it slow and steady, but I can't do it fast. I mean, this guy is triple city promoted, so he's like the only one that can attack twice. Putting people on this front for when I get to ready to go to war with Brazil, uh, I'm trying to. I'm gonna probably nuke Palenque and then just pair drop in and take it. I don't have Blitz, um, but it's still pretty good. He's got some boats in the water. I got some paratroopers on the Colombo border. You know how it is. You know how we be. Um, I don't necessarily have to kill Brazil, I just need to take Palenque because it has a lot of tourism and then I should be safe. But if I can't take Brazil, then sweet, I would love to take Brazil. Um, again, still just working on killing Denmark units until my nukes are ready. Um, that's basically all I'm waiting on. So I have a feeling that I've basically won this game, right? Uh, Denmark can't stop me. Um, Brazil is a threat, but I can stop Brazil. And then that's it. I mean, Maya and Shoshone don't matter. They both lost their caps. I'm third in army right now. Oh yeah, look at all these troops he's bringing in. He does not stop. The Danes don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. But I think I've already made that joke before. Um, it would probably be wise of me to kill the mobile Sam first. Or at least bait out its attack. And I do indeed kill it first. Now I'm going to go after this tank because it's more in my lands and thus has the higher chance of actually doing damage. And it moves faster. I, I like tanks, it's just that they're very they're at a very awkward place, you know. I uh, really need money right now, and it's kind of at the point of the game where it doesn't matter if I grow my cities, although putting production in them wouldn't matter. Did you guys catch that? Brazil is rising with everyone, so the stakes are very high. Brazil can surpass Denmark pretty soon, so I need to kill Brazil before he surpasses everyone, because he's making lots of tourism, and he's not going to stop. Right. Looks like he has a plane in the water. Uh, I am going to try to kill that plane. I'm outside of domination victory. I could try diplomacy. I'm not having too terrible of money. This get too terrible of money. I'm not. My money situation isn't too terrible this game. Uh, you might notice that I just fed Babylon. I personally would consider that a mistake. I really don't think I need to feed it anymore. But I was just so like lost in the sauce while recording this that, that I was just so used to doing it. Um, but I would con ultimately consider it a mistake. Not, coo not too concerned about Melbourne because um, those aircraft carriers can't take it, but I'm going to kill them anyways because they have planes which could attack me. But then the city of Melbourne, I'm not worried about it. 
Uh, should be getting nukes soon, and then that's super exciting. Now the question is, do I want to use my nukes on Palenque, or do I want to use it on Denmark? They're both huge threats. Um, can I take two wars at the same time? Who knows, right? I mean, I made all these paratroopers, and I'm not using them, so I could use the paratroopers on Denmark or on uh, Palenque and sort of be just fine. But uh, I mean, I'm third in military, right? So that means Brazil is still definitely higher than me. It's definitely not the Shoshone or the Maya or the the zombie Egyptians, which. I feel so bad for the Egyptian population that their land of Heliopolis just keeps getting taken over. Uh, mobile Sams, I really like Blitz and I really like March on Mobile Sams because they have three movement. Um, it helps them either get into friendly territory and heal up 20 health per turn, or since they have three movement they can attack and still move quite a bit. So I really like Mobile Sams for that regard. I think the three movement, on top of the fact that they can still fortify and take down air aircraft, even though they are just... Um, slightly weaker I think that it just makes them better infantry um, Denmark has nukes that's scary that is not good so ideally honestly I would make peace with him before he nukes me right if I was playing this right now um, I would try to make peace with Denmark maybe take Thebes and then make peace with Denmark although he doesn't want peace that's another thing I keep asking him for peace and he doesn't want it he's not losing enough to want peace um, this guy has triple city and everything else, so I'm just going to get evasiveness in case, you know, just to make him last longer because it's integral that he stays alive. But yeah, Denmark could make nukes now and wreck me. Uh, it depends if he has a nuke tech, that is, however. Alright, triple land promoted on uh, that unit. Just going to make some more mobile SAMs. Uh, probably use these mobile SAMs to move into Colombo's uh, areas and take down those cities. Um, if, in case you haven't noticed, this uh, city-state of Colombo is no longer a city, it is a state. Uh, and it's super freaking powerful. Um, so that's actually probably going to be a bigger threat than Brazil. I wouldn't be surprised if Colombo has as equal or stronger of a military than myself. So I am indeed going to move my nuke into the city of Dur, such that I can attack Pedro. Uh, Pedro is a pretty big threat culturally, and I feel comfortable doing that. I, th I feel like I could take Thebes otherwise. Now, I feel like what would be smart here is moving my paratroopers into his land, but I'm not doing that for some reason. Uh, at least I'm not doing it now. But yeah, the Maya and Denmark are definitely the rivals for Brazil. Now the question is, how can I get people into that land? I don't know, I have all these paratroopers and I'm not using them. Use your paratroopers past me. Uh, like I said, it's been a while since I recorded this. So, I think I was waiting for XCOMs or something. I don't freaking know why I didn't take, why I didn't capture the city. Um, but anyways, here goes nothing. Well, no, here goes something, actually. We're gonna um, think about city-states first. Uh, we don't care if arts funding gets passed. We care a little bit, but we don't really want it that bad. But we gone ahead and attack Brazil. Now we're at minus 77, and here comes the nuke. So instantly, Palenque is at half health, which is awesome. Uh, now we need to get some more vision so we can move our way in. Looks like he has anti-airs and artillery, which is fine. Don't mind that one bit. And I can actually use my um, planes from Babylon to reach this area as well, but not too far. Uh, they can't really go much farther than that. They can hit Brasilia, but they can't really hit anything else. Um, now, Colombo, that is the threat, right? So let's surround Palenque with my own units, uh, such that I can take it next turn. Now here's the thing. Here is what I was not accounting for. Here, here is some. Here is a big deal that I made a mistake on, right? Let, let, let's see if it becomes self-evident that all men are created equal. All right, let, let's see if this happens. If if the viewer of the video can figure out what I did wrong here. Yeah, a lot of people were leaving comments on previous videos that I should not have let Tulum get settled. You're absolutely right, and now I'm paying for it. Um, also, I readjusted the mic. Hopefully there's no popping sounds. Uh, but I, it, 
I cannot believe that I just did that. I should have nuked Tulum. There's nukes in Tulum. I should have nuked Tulum first. I just lost all of my planes. I lost every single plane in Babylon. Like, so many citizens, everything. At least I can take Palenque, but just like... Holy crap, dude. I, I spaghettied really hard just now. Uh, we're going to create a puppet in Palenque. And basically now... Now we want to peace out Brazil. He's not going to do it because it's been way too fast, but like we want to peace out Brazil. Also, peep that minus 106 gold per turn. That's another um, great thing about uh, this game. Oh, and Denmark wants peace, so that's perfect. Since we got nuked, now we can actually focus on Brazil, um, which is exactly what I wanted. I did not want to fight two wars where um, both my enemies had nukes, you know? Um, so now the question is, am I going to get nuked again? Most likely, because uranium comes in packs of two and four. And uh, I believe Brazil went freedom or order. He went, He didn't go autocracy, whatever he went. I don't know what he went, though. Um, but nonetheless, since he didn't go autocracy, he has at minimum two or four uranium. Um, which means he has the potential to make at minimum two or four nukes. But he does not want peace. Uh, and let's see what he does this time. Uh, he's going in on Palenque now. And he also nuked the city of Babylon once more. <laughs> so, you know, but luckily, during the nuke, Babylon made a great musician. So, I just looked it up. Um, I, I paused the recording and I looked it up. There was indeed Japanese music being made uh, after World War II. And I think, I, I'm assuming the war inspired the music, so yes. Um, so, me making that great musician, that is canon. I have a lot of uranium, so I can out-nuke him where I made my mistake. This is how I messed up really bad. Um, I messed up super bad by attacking him when I only had one nuke ready. I was so eager to nuke him that I, I screwed up terribly, right? Um, I, I don't know why I did that. I, I, a very foolish mistake of me. Um, you should never have... You should never have just... If you are using nukes, you should never have just one nuke. I'm going to nuke right there to kill all the units, or at least do a lot of damage to them. Um, it usually kills units, or it does like half health to like all units, something like that. Yeah, you notice how like almost all of them died. That That's what attacking units with a nuke does. Um, now, at the time, I thought that he had uh, reached me from Sao Paulo. However, Sao Paulo is a little bit far away. I didn't even realize that he reached me from Tulum. Um... It, although that becomes apparent later when he um, when he literally has atomic bombs in Tulum. So that's another thing about how the micro in Civ 5 is more important than the macro. Uh, and that if you aren't paying attention, as I was not paying attention in this uh, recording because I was super freaking tired. And also, I'll get back to what I was just saying. Colombo just took this. That means Brazil does not get the tourism. I don't care if Brazil doesn't get the tourism now. Like, I don't, or I don't care if Colombo has Palenque. I don't care if Colombo is a huge freaking civilization with more cities than the Maya, the Shoshone. It's like, I don't care if Colombo is as big as Brazil itself, right? Let's see, Colombo has four cities and Brazil has six. Yeah, so Colombo, Colombo is like one of the biggest civs on the whole map right now, right? Uh, Colombo is going for the domination victory, but we don't care because Colombo can't win by tourism and we can repel Colombo, so... Now that Colombo has Palenque, I actually am okay with making peace. I just want to go after Tulum now. Although, I have to stop this onslaught of Colombi... Col Columbies? Columbies? Troops? Uh, I don't know what you would call Colombo um, as like an adjective. But I, I am very scared of that. And look at all these elections I'm about to rig this turn. Or next turn, or whatever. Okay, lost my paratrooper. Like I said, doesn't matter because Colombo uh, can't give Brazil tourism. I'm a bit scared of Durr because of Colombo, although I feel like um, Colombo doesn't make units proportional to the amount of cities they have, they just make a, a set amount of units as every city-state does, like I think each difficulty rating allows the amount of units for a city-state to make, I don't know, something like that. Um, so I'm not too scared, but let's, I have made so many mistakes, I am so, I, I will not stop beating myself up over this. <laughs> like I'm totally one of those dudes that when he messes up, like, he doesn't forgive himself, that's totally, I'm totally one of those. Now, I still am in an advantageous position, right? I'm not in a losing position. I still am better than I was before when I lost the city of Nipper. But 
I had such an opportunity for the most amazing potential and I lost it, right? I messed up so bad. <laughs> like, I could have just, I could have completely like swept this game just now and instead I spaghettied so hard. Like, if anyone watches Smash Bros. Um, Melee, there's a super famous clip of Fox, like, Fox, like, up being, like, some guy is playing Fox and he's, like, trying to up be uh, a guy in the air to get a really flashy finish, and he ends up, like, not killing him, but he does take him out of, like, hit stun or whatever. And then the guy, because he's out of hit stun, can up B and actually get higher air than Fox, and Fox is the one that dies. And then the commentator is like, how do you spaghetti that hard? That's what I'm telling myself right now. Okay, go to the Edgar, JB, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, what the fuck was that? Oh that was the most spaghetti God. thing I've ever seen in my life. Done. How do you spaghetti that?